Hi there, beer fans. Welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. It is... Fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday. It's fun Friday. Gateway to my weekend. It's the day of the week where I like to drink something, usually something a little bit different. Either I get to pick it or somebody else gets to pick it. Usually somebody else gets to pick it. It's the beer they think I don't like. Um, usually stronger in strength, but not always. Um, today it's something that I decided I want to try and it is from my brewery of the year last year uh, Bennett uh, brewery up in North Allerton and uh, Powder Monkey down in ooh, down on the south coast um, this is what makes the grass grow it's red IPA coming at 5.8 percent um, ABV um, they've done a collaboration with these guys before. The Let's Go All Lines was, was a really good IPA, uh, and that was in collaboration with these guys as well. So it's good to see uh, another one coming along. Let's get it out of the can and into a glass, shall we? Now, not sure. Yeah. So it's actually got Powder Monkey's um, details on there, so I presume with this one it's actually being brewed by Powder Monkey uh, with collaboration of Bennett. But they're both good brewers anyway, aren't they? So it doesn't really matter which is which. Doesn't really matter. Uh, right, so... Um, Red IPAs, and I don't know. There's been, I, th I may, I probably have reviewed a couple of these. Um, Farnbridge do a really good um, red IPA called, is it called Colorado Red? I think that's the name of it. Uh, Doncaster Brewery of their Brian Blessed, although I'll take that back. It's not red IPA, I think that's just a red ale, but it's still very nice. I think that's brewed with rye, it's a lovely beer. Um, Basically, what we're looking for here is that it's a um, an IPA with a hint of roasted malts in it. Um, so you get all the all the fruity flavours of the IPA, and you get some of that um, promise, that roasted malt promise coming through. So, without further ado, I'm not sure how well that's coming up on screen. Actually, it has poured a what people call a murky brown. It's a reddish brown colour. Can we call that russet? I think a bit light for a russet, isn't it? Uh, with a small and creamy, just off white head. It's a good looking head. Let me put that there, it's getting away a little bit. Right, let's get the aroma, shall we? Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. On the aroma side then, you've got that tropical uh, fruitiness going on there and get a little bit of pineapple coming through. And you've got malt profile coming through as well. Bit of caram caramel, bit of caramel in there. So you see, it's a, a fascinating, uh, it's a bit like the difference into between this and uh, a black IPA. So a black IPA just has a lot more, basically has a lot more um, roasted malts, it, darker malts in it, which turns it black. So you get the, in a black IPA, you get the uh, kind of the, the bit of chocolate, bit of coffee coming through, but it's punctuated with the um, hops from the, the IPA that's brewed. Smells really, really nice. Smells really inviting. So without further ado, let's uh, taste. Shall we? Cheers, everybody. Wow. Wow. Do you know what? I'm not a big, um, I'm not a massive expert when it comes to red IPAs. I kind of know how it should be kind of put together and I, I kind of know, I've had a couple of them. Um, oh, I, if I 
for me, from a layman's perspective, it absolutely hits every single point this is supposed to hit. It goes in your mouth. It's you get that hint, sweet hit of caramel malt, which is dreamy. And then the there's a small little interlude, a little bit of almost like a biscuity flavour coming through. And then you get a little bit of this dark malt stuff coming in. So a little bit of the, the roastiness coming through. Maybe a little hint of chocolate, a little just the subtlest notes of chocolate in there. And then the back end you get the um, fruity notes going through, a little bit of pineapple. Lovely, lovely waves. I forgot how nice the red IPA is actually. Lovely waves of flavour. And something that's akin to a little bit like a um, bit of a zesty orange at the back end. Don't know if any of the guys, Phallics at Bayonet or uh, Powder Monkey Seeds, just let me know if I should be picking up a little bit of orange. It's almost zesty, almost like a little, with the roastness, it's actually come through like a little bit, and it's going to sound awful, it's not, a little bit of burnt orange. It's nice and absolutely spot on, I think. Um, for this style, it's got just a, a really nice um, dry finish on it. Very tasty. Very Moorish, which is lucky because I've got another another can of it here as well, which will be uh, drunk later on. Cracking beer. Um, really nice Gosport Gosport Powder Monkey I knew it was South Coast somewhere um, really nice it's rich it's got a, like I say the up front it's got a little bit of sweet caramel malt coming through you, then the roastness absolutely takes over then you've got that little bit of late hot character in there a little bit of for me a little bit of pineapple a little bit of um Zesty, burnty orange, and a nice, I'm going to say coffee bitterness at the back end. It's a really complex but very well put together beer, this. Um, 10 out of 10. It is a 10 out of 10 from Managed Beer Views without a shadow of a doubt. Really nice, absolutely delicious, absolutely tasty. I've got another one there. I am going to buy some more of these because this is a phenomenal beer. Uh, really like it um, yeah a few of you I think would have had this uh, let me know what you think about it I don't know if there's any more red, red IPAs I should be looking out for because I've, I've, I have forgotten just how decent a beer a good red, PI, red IPA is and uh, that's it um, yeah 10 out of 10 uh, it's Friday I'm going to have a few more beers now um, be fairly sensible. I'm going to try and be fairly sensible I'm going to try and keep the uh, the second one of these uh, until tomorrow. Uh, that's it. Thanks for joining today. Really appreciate your comment. Uh, your comment. Really appreciate you uh, coming and watching me today. Um, subscribe if you want uh, to see uh, daily beer reviews. Um, that's a nice beer. Um, like, please uh, comment. All that good stuff. Share it. Share it. If you want to, you know, your, all your beer mates to find out where a really good beer is share the video. Uh, that's it. Uh, until next time, everybody, enjoy beers. Cheers.